All right, I'm going to show you how to uh, um, create this function uh, where um, you get a next button uh, that's pretty consistent in showing you that it's time to go to the next uh, slide. Um, you got a bouncing arrow that points to it, and you have um, this pulsating uh, um, border. So we're going to go to uh, View, Slide Master, and this is um, where you put your code. And I'll um, explain what's happening here. So the first thing is um, we got to make sure everything's loaded first, and then uh, that's why you have this window thing uh, here. Um, then it looks for the next button. If it can't find it, it says, hey, I'm not found. Uh, then we have on our first animation and our second animation. Uh, I'm using GSAP. I don't need to import anything um, since um, Articulate Storyline uh, is our, already has uh, uh, um, GSAP or uh, GreenSock as part of its uh, um, package, so um, we don't we didn't need to import anything. It just works. Um, this is an animation, um, uh, um, one of their animations, and it says uh, the initial um, the initial animation. That's this right here. Um, it animates to this. So if we wanted to do other stuff like uh, um, add other functions in here, we could. We could put it right here, and you'd say. Um, um, some other thing that we want to highlight, um, like border style. And you can say, I want the border style to be uh, um, dotted or whatever um, is the um, um, the other function for it. You need to put it there. We're just uh, um, doing the uh, um, stroke color, so we're just going to keep it simple and keep it right there. Right there. This is the duration in seconds, so one second um, uh, is how long it goes from one to the other. Um, this is a stroke, so it's going from uh, initial um, width of zero to um, or one to uh, Three, so it, 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 it's not going to do 1.1, 1.2. That, that's why it co kind of goes um, in spurts: one um, um, uh, pixel, two pixel, three pixel. So that's you know it, it's measured in pixels, and um, this says go forever, or this says goes back and forth, and this says repeat. So it's animating one way and animating the other. This is the ease. Um, you can look at their website on what other eases are available, but that's where you'd change that style. Um, this is uh, some um, back-end stuff that you don't really need to worry about. It's um, formatting and making sure stuff are um, uh, done. And, and there's two things I do want to talk to, though. This is the uh, bouncing arrow. Uh, so you can, if you want to uh, um, change the font size. Um, the arrow is a font, and this is the uh, um, the number for it. So you can say um, arrow HTML code, and I'll bring this over here, and you can see um, that uh, um, there's all these other kinds of arrows you could do. Um, so you just grab um, uh, this uh, one of these codes right here, um, right here, like that. If I wanted to change it to that style or this style, um, so you know, it's just uh, um, one of those fonts. And this is the color. So if you don't like uh, the um, orange, you can change it to pink or whatever. Uh, this is animating the arrow, so just like here where we animated um, some stuff for the uh, next button, uh, this is us animating for the arrow. 
uh, pretty much it's going up negative 5, down negative 5, up negative 5, down negative 5 uh, pixels, so it bounces. And it uses this um, ease, so it's uh, um, uh, you know, we have an in and out, so it, um, it stays, you know, it, you know, it goes up and stays there, and go down, and, uh, and you know, eases in and out from the top and bottom. And it does that forever, and it yo yo's back and forth. Uh, so that's um, that function right there. If you want to change how it animates, you'd uh, put it right there. Um, now, one thing is, I um, I'm assuming that uh, your learners aren't going to be moving, um, resizing browsers and stuff um, right at that time. If they do, the arrow may be in different spots, but the stroke will stay the same. And then after um, we uh, do all this stuff, we have to clear it every single slide. So this next function says clear all that junk um, and remove any uh, animations. And we do that right away. Um, looks like we're doing it twice. Um, so yeah, you can copy this function with or without the window. Um, window is probably more. Um, accurate um, what to do but um, so at the end of um, at the beginning of the slide I have the next, able, next button disabled and at the end of it I have it enabled then I say at the end of this slide I want uh, the next button to be highlighted and so um, but if I have something more complex like a, um, a click to reveal I have it so that whenever um, the um, variables one, two, or three change. If the other three, um, two are also true, then to run this uh, JavaScript. Um, either one, either way, it works. You can do it at the end of the timeline or at the end of your logic, and just make sure that uh, that it's called. And that's it. That's it. Have a great day. Thanks.